Hello everybody, um, I'm just wanting to give you guys a bit of a update on the mod that I'm publishing here soon. Um, let's jump right into it. If you're wondering why I started with the game, it's because for whatever reason when I try to record on my desktop, it only records in 1080p. But anyway, let's get this started. I will try to explain this smoothly here. So, I recently found that enemies have better normal map textures um, for equipment that they share with the player. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So, for those of you who don't know, a normal map is a 2D texture that gives something 3D depth. That's it in a nutshell. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do here is take a look at... Um, this is the player's diffuse map or the base texture for the chaos armor. Now you'll see if I come over here, this is the normal map. And as you might have seen, the diffuse texture is 512 by 512, but the normal map is squished. It's 512 by 256. Now for those of you used to a different kind of normal map, there's a way to change this to standard and I'll actually show you that right now real quick if you come over here if you have GIMP you go to decompose go to load RGBA okay it'll break it up into segments so if you want to change it from Dragon's Dogma format to regular format you take the red channel put it on the bottom you take the alpha channel put it on top Click the green channel, go to colors, invert, I go to colors, components, compose, make sure it's set to RGBA, and that converts Dragon's Dogma normal maps to their, the standard style that a lot of you are probably more used to. But um, what I like to do for Dragon's Dogma normal maps, and this will probably make it easier on you guys too, is I'll get rid of these channels over here so that it's a lot easier to see. Um, moving along, again, the normal map is 512 by 256, which is like a squished version of the diffuse. Now, if you come over here and look at bandits, you'll notice they also have a 512 by 512 uh, diffuse texture. They keep everything on a big old chart like this. There's multiple pieces of equipment. Now, the thing with bandits though, and a lot of NPCs and other enemies, is that their normal maps are also on a chart and they match. So, you'll see that the normal map for the enemy chaos armor is not the squished um, aspect ratio. You'll see that's the full 512 by 512. And something that's real nice about that, let me come over here and close out of this real quick. Here is the player armor stretched to 512 by 512. And I've set the opacity to one because you're gonna see what happens if I copy this and replace this. Watch the change in visual fidelity. So I've been able to do that a whole bunch with a bunch of other equipment. And not everything is quite as perfect at this, as this, but for the most part, everything looks really, really good. And here in just a minute, because I've got it as a separate video that I put together, I will show you um, some other changes that you can look at. And if you want to keep an eye out for this mod on Nexus, I'll be publishing it pretty much as soon as this video comes out, maybe even before. It'll be called LDK's Armory. Uh, thanks for watching.